There's not many videos on this species of ants, but they truly are beautiful. Let's have a closer look at my Kempenotis aniopelosis colony. Let's get into that video. This video is sponsored by Ant Keeping Depot. Click on the link in the description to check out their website. Well, it's been some time since I've given you guys an update on this colony and they're a beautiful colony and yeah, doing very well. Now, this is the golden tail sugar ants, um, or as I said before, the Campanotis aniopelosis uh, colony with Queen Abigail. You can see here their outworld. Uh, they are very busy, very busy in their nest. Uh, spending a lot of time in the outworld now and you can see by the number of the ants in the outworld just how large they are getting and it's fantastic to see the growth rate is doing really well and now that we've hit spring the numbers are going to explode a lot of the larvae have started uh, progressing and we've already got those cocoons ready to go so they'll be hatching in the next few weeks so that's really nice to see very healthy colony and i'm really happy with them now, if you haven't seen some of the other videos on this colony, go back and watch those as well. You might enjoy them and you'll be able to see the journey. But this is the first queen that I ever caught when I started ant keeping properly. And that's just over three years ago. And this queen um, has gone through quite a lot. And it's actually why my logo has the golden tail on the, uh, on the ant logo, which is made up of the Novo. And that's because of these guys, the golden tail sugar ants. So it's a shout out to that first colony that I ever caught. So here we go. In their outworld, they're digging their little chambers in the dirt out here, adding a bit of moisture to it. And I think it's a sign that they really need some more living space. Their nest is chockers. And in a second, we're going to have a little look inside the nest and see what's going on and see just how much room they need. So plenty of activity in the outworld, which is fantastic. Every time I take the lid off these guys, they just run around and are really excitable. And they're super fast as well. They move very fast. Um, I'm going to have to do a little bit of a change out here in their outworld and clean it up and also add some fluon around the top because yeah, they tend to want to escape like this little guy here. And boy, can she run fast. So yeah, beautiful. You'll see the little fine golden hairs on their abdomens, and that's where they get their name of the golden tail sugar ants. So we better get inside and have a look at the nest so I can show you what's going on in there, the development of the brood. Have a quick look at Abigail as well. Now, before we jump in there, I thought what I better do is give them a little bit of a treat. So I've given them some sugar water on some paper and I just killed a few mealworms, cut them up and put them in there. And you can see they're just straight into it. They want that protein. They've got the brood developing and growing. They need to provide it with that protein. All right, well, it's time. Let's have a look inside the nest and see how they're going. Now they're in this Oz Ants acrylic nest here, beautifully made. And if we remove this red film off the top, look at that. They're chockers in that nest. And we already know how many of the workers are outside in the outworld. So they really are running out of room inside this nest. So it's definitely time to give them a bit of an upgrade and expand their living quarters. And we'll have a bit of a closer look. I'll get out the macro lens and let's have a closer look at this beautiful colony. And you'll be able to see up nice and close their golden tails. They truly are a beautiful species. And I'm really happy to have a full colony of these uh, of these guys and they're going super well which is really encouraging so let's have a close look here we go look at that they are beautiful aren't they so here we see queen abigail now you'll notice with the queen there's nowhere near as many of those golden hairs on the abdomen there's just a couple of little strips of them otherwise though she's completely black so that is a little bit of a change and that can be a little bit different when you see these queens you're not quite sure perhaps what she is um, but yes you can see them busily here the only part of them is that abdomen that's got that coloring and queen abigail's got that little dent you can see there on the back of her thorax now she's been through quite a lot uh, i nearly lost the colony i lost all but abigail and two workers at one stage but they've come back and come back strong 
Now, as I mentioned in the Outworld, whenever I take off the lid, they just go completely crazy, um, which is very interesting to see um, compared to some of the other uh, species that I do keep. So here we can see them tending uh, to their brood, carrying the larvae around to find the best spot for them. Um, and there's not many spots left inside this nest. Look at the piles of brood. So it's fantastic. Um, boy, I'm not sure exactly how many workers there are in here. I will have to count them one day. But there's, there's several hundred anyway, and we're probably going to have another hundred or so joining. So you can see the masses, the masses of brood that are in here. And it's time for a bit of a change out in the nest as well. So I'll have to do a few things here. It's not just the outworld that I want to clean up and make. I also want to get a new outworld going. And it's always fun making a new outworld, but it's a new nest that I'm going to have to make for these ones as well. So we can see in the acrylic nest, if we move around here, the sponge is not looking that great. Yeah, you can see there it's a little bit black, a little bit moldy in there. So far it's not having any effect, which is great um, to see, but I don't want it harming the colony at all. So I'm going to definitely have to do some clean out and removal of this part. So we've got the one sponge here, and then if I move over to the second one, look at that. Yeah, it's not good. It's definitely something you do not want inside your colonies is mold. So with this species, you've noticed that there are just the normal size workers and then you've got the larger soldier workers so it's beautiful just to have that uh, change in the two worker casts well it's been a fantastic video i'm glad that i could share a bit of an update and there's plenty more to come on this colony as well and i'll be sure to share the uh, new nest the new outworld and how that colony goes it's a beautiful beautiful colony i'm very proud of it and it's nice that my first ever queen is still going very strong Well, I'd like to thank my Patreons uh, for supporting the channel and really helping me out. And uh, We have the Patreons here, Medical Carcass 9, Ants3D, John Redwood, William Bass and K Single. I really do appreciate your support. Thank you so much. If you would like to support the channel, head over to Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Novo Ants and you can uh, choose from the different levels and the different perks that come along with those different levels as well. So thank you very much. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't um, subscribed to the channel. We're getting closer to 3000 subscribers which is fantastic. Thank you so much for the support. There's a video recommended for you there and also one that I've picked that you may enjoy. Thank you so much for watching the video and happy ant keeping.